Being the successful YouTuber that you are, you already know how important it is to have the perfect YouTube thumbnail, and you might also know how time-consuming and tricky it might be, but today I'm showing you how you can make the perfect YouTube thumbnail using Canva. I love Canva. I use it daily in my business from everything from social media posts to business cards to, like I said, YouTube thumbnails. Even your YouTube cover art banner, which I also have a video on that that you should go check out and my guide in the link below because the cover art can be pretty tricky. But what I wanna to talk to you about today is the thumbnails. So your thumbnail is the first thing that people see before they come and click on your video. And it can be even the deciding factor for them to click on your video. When you look in your YouTube analytics, one of the very important but most overlooked statistic is what's your click-through rate? Are people actually clicking through when they see your thumbnail to watch the video? And a good number that you wanna aim for is at least 4%. And if you see that any of your click-through rates are less than 4%, this is evidence that you should go and design a new one. So when you are designing a YouTube thumbnail, you wanna make sure that the face or the subject, so if, if me, for example, or you, are the face of your videos. You should be big on screen in that thumbnail and text very big also next to that as well. You also don't have to have the full title of the video as the text. You can have something that's like a few words or a question or something that's posing that will bring them to wanting to watch your video. So for example, I have a video that I put out recently that's called, the option you didn't know you had will change your life. And on the video, instead of putting all of that text, because that's a pretty long sentence, it says, change your life. So you don't necessarily need to have the full words, the full text on the screen. It's actually better if you don't. So let's jump right into Canva where I'm actually gonna show you how you can make your thumbnails so easily with what Canva has to offer. Canva is a free graphic design tool and it's also browser-based, which I really like so that I don't have to download it and put it on my computer because I don't know about you, but I get those notifications all the time showing me that I'm running low on disk space. So I love that I can just go into canva.com, log into my account. You can use a free account or a paid account. I used it for free for a very long time before I started needing that extra functionality. And to make a YouTube thumbnail, you don't need that extra functionality. So when you log into Canva, I'm logged into my account. As you can see, everything that I've worked on before is all right here, on, right on my account. So this is super nice that even if you use it another computer or you're somewhere else, you can access all of your images, no matter what computer, no matter where you are. So when you log in, you can see that there are some templates that you can use here. You can even start to type into the search bar YouTube, and it will show you it has different thumbnails with the custom dimensions for YouTube channel art, which I talked about, and I have a link in the description below for a guide on how to make the channel art because it's kind of tricky, and um, the YouTube thumbnail. So I wanna make a YouTube thumbnail. I'm just gonna click right here, open up a brand new one, and as you'll see, as Canva starts to load, you'll see that they have a lot of templates and guides for what you can actually use and just repurpose it into your own branding, your own title, pop your own picture on it, which makes things so, so easy because I don't know about you, but I struggle sometimes with creativity. It's almost like writer's block, but for design. So as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of different thumbnails, even for different genres or, or industries. So this one's for like music, YouTube thumbnails, food, beauty, tutorials. So awesome that you can just take, this, take these exact thumbnails that they've made for you and just redesign it into your own. So let's say even if we wanted to like take this one, and I can even swap out this picture. I can change the text here to say like, video from Marley Baird. Um, I can change this to video uh, Canva. Let's make that bold. Canva tutorial. And then if I wanna swap out this image, what I'm gonna do is if I hover over it and I just click the delete button, it's gonna delete that, and I can go into my uploads or my folder. So if you wanna upload one of the images, you can actually just drag and drop it right on here or upload it from any of your folders. So if you click uploads, um, you can click here to upload an image. These are all of my previous images that I've uploaded. You can see I've been working on, on a lot of wedding design recently. You can also go into your folders where you can categorize them into the different, uh, so for example, like I have different clients that I've I've sorted all of their images. So let's say if I wanna find an image of myself, I'll go into one of these folders and I can just drag, it drop, drag and drop it right into place. So let's find like this one. All I do is just drag it right there and I can expand it to go across the whole screen. And now see, it covered up this pink part. So what I'm gonna do is I'll still have it move into place there. And then when I click on position, 
if I move it backwards, see how now it's moved right behind this. And then if I wanted to, because pink or this salmon color isn't really my branding color, I can click on this and see how the color option comes up here. Maybe I want to turn into a blue. I can even click on this and change the fonts to whatever I need. You can actually upload your own fonts so you don't have to use just what Canva's given you. You can go in and, uh, and upload, if say one of your fonts that's in your branding isn't already there, all you do is just upload it right here. So I'll just change those fonts to a different font. There we go. And that's all you need to do. So you can play around with that. You can use any of their templates. And then to download it, all you're gonna do is click this download button in the corner. Um, it will let you download it in different, um, you can use download it as a PNG, a JPEG, whatever. The other really cool thing about Canva, although you don't need it in this circumstance, is that it will publish directly to your social media, which is just such an awesome functionality. This is brand new with Canva 2.0, but I'm just gonna download this to my computer so that I can upload it as a thumbnail to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna download that. PNG is good, but it also let you download as a JPEG. Uh, for PDFs, I, you can't upload a PDF to YouTube, so it has to be JPEG or PNG. So I'm gonna do that. I don't need the transparent background, so I'm just gonna click download and download that to my computer. Now while that's downloading, I wanna let you know that you can only upload custom thumbnails to YouTube if you have verified your account. This is super easy to do. Don't worry about it, just go to youtube.com slash verify. It's gonna ask you to put in your phone number. It's gonna send you a text to that phone number with a verification code, you pop that in, and then it will allow you to put in a custom thumbnail. This is really important because otherwise, YouTube just gives you three random options from your video, and most of the time, they don't make sense. It'll be you with like your mouth hanging open, or it'll be you with like, just in action so it doesn't actually it doesn't look appealing because remember YouTube wants you to put it in good thumbnails that people are gonna click through and watch you want to have a click-through rate of at least 4% and the way to do that is this is by following my guidelines of having a big picture of yourself or whatever the subject is big text related to the title of your video and uh, make it engaging and of course go to your analytics if you see that that people aren't really clicking through go ahead and redesign it, test that one out, see how that one works better. Before we jump into actually designing thumbnails in Canva, I'm gonna show you some examples of amazing thumbnails. My mentor, Russell Brunson, is dominating at the thumbnail game. So take a look, here you'll see how he has a big image of himself in every video, even here's a video with him and Gary Vaynerchuk. So Gary Vaynerchuk is also featured in that because him being a dominant player, someone that a lot of entrepreneurs look up to, even seeing his face in the video is gonna really catch attention. As you can see, it has a lot of views for very short amount of time it was only uploaded a day ago so you can see how there's always a picture of Russell he always has a facial expression that gets people interested and then the words next to it are also really engaging when it's relating to the title so for example this one is about MLM and the title is how to succeed at network marketing with an MLM sales funnel and the words on the thumbnail is no one is doing this so instead of titling the video, no one is doing this because people aren't searching for that, he puts that in the thumbnail so it gets people engaged about, well, what is no one doing? They want to see that so that will help them to click through. So this is a great example if you wanna start studying the science of thumbnails, look at Russell Brunson's channel. So that was my Canva tutorial. And again, I have some freebies in the link below, my most used Canva tools for video creation and my guide for creating YouTube channel art because is a science to that too. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe for more weekly videos.